pieces of that? Uh, when I reach down to my camera bag, I can still feel some splinters <laughs> down there. Every day I was bringing down pieces of wood. It took us two weeks to drill with coring augers from the South Pole and bringing up pieces of wood and ice. Any questions? Um, Alfred, can you please tell us how did you come up with the shape of Noah's Ark and what is inside? All right, good question. Uh, I, I didn't come up with this. I don't know anything about ship design, but uh, we know actual eyewitnesses who have seen Noah's Ark when it's been completely uncovered. It's covered with ice and snow most of the time. But we know uh, Ed Davis and George Hagopian who have actually been there at two different times and have seen Noah's Ark and they describe it and I just drew what they said and that's the result right there. And the United States Navy took my drawings and built a scale model where they test aircraft carriers and battleships in San Diego. And they said, this design is the most seaworthy design we've ever seen. Now they know ships, I don't. It wasn't but, designed uh, to sail, and it was designed to save the lives of those people. Pardon? It wasn't a sailing ship, it was designed to save the lives. Like yeah, a, that's right, this it's was a barge. not made it's a barge. to go fast. It was just made to be steady. And they said that according to this uh, scale model here and my drawings that Noah's Ark could sustain tidal waves over 200 feet high. Right. Now they say there aren't tidal waves that high. And another thing, it would not capsize but it would turn into the wave and go like this. See, instead of this way and over. Now look closely, the windows. They were very clear to tell me that the windows are in the roof. And this follows literally what the Bible says. Was one window in the roof, not at the side. You will notice Many times, artists paint windows along the side of the ark. Well, if the windows were on the side of the ark, it would just tip like this and the water would go right in. But here, on the center of the roof, it would have to go like that before water would start going in. See? Ingenious design. So, um, I don't know anything about ships. I just drew what the uh, men told me that they had actually seen. The caveman did this. <laughs> the people before the flood were much closer to the Garden of Eden and the Tree of Life right. and to creation. They were a whole lot smarter than we are. Yes, I agree. Some people even think that they had types of aviation and other other things. The hand I'll, of God I'll leave that to someone else to. The hand of God. It had been broken. It had slid down from a higher place where George Agopian had seen it. It slid down to about a hundred feet in a terrible earthquake and it broke in half. And so now you can see inside the ark and there are three decks the bottom deck has huge cages, they say for larger than any elephant we know. The second deck has smaller cages for like smaller animals, like for foxes and so on, and chicken coops with wrought iron bars like a chicken coop. The top deck 
has beds, built-in beds and eating like for human habitation. So I'm sure that's where Noah and his family lived. And uh, you can see and the center down the middle like a mall, it's open from the top deck to the bottom and the, the uh, cages and everything are along the side. And so the light and ventilation from the window Genius design. I know nothing about that. I just drew what I was told. <laughs>